And for me, my influence is really with the feeling that growing up in California um, with two parents from Louisiana who actually met in California, who did that migration, um, I, I, I really wanted to try to capture some of what I experienced when I went, to, went down south and, and, and visited. So, so some of that is, is really is hearing my relatives talk and, um, and wanting to capture that and put that down. Um, in terms of um, broader than that, August Wilson's work, I mean really just the sense of black history needing to be um, recorded and put on the stage in a way because there's so many stories that are just, it just astounds me how many stories that aren't told about um, African American experience and, and um, it's, my, I'm teaching a class this semester on African American literary and cultural criticism and one of the students mentioned, you know, is this, all you hear about is slavery, slavery, slavery. And people get, you know, are tired of that. I remember being at that age too, about you know, 800 years ago when I was a young freshman <laughs> or, or undergraduate, <laughs> and feeling the same way. Like this burden of black history is just, is just too much. But I feel like there's no way to get away from it. And really, if you don't know that or aren't able to, to tease those things out, you really don't know where you are. It's sort of a compass in a way. So um, I say August Wilson, his sense of wanting to put on the stage, you know, these stories, and then wanting to, for me, my own, that's, that's the big, big answer, and the small answer is, you know, my dad and my mom, my grandmother, and aunts and uncles, the stories they told me when I was growing up, I want to try to at least capture those voices. I mean, my mother was able to hear a stage reading of Monroe in its entirety um, some years ago, and it was nice to have her uh, listen to She looked at my brother and said, that's how I was, that's how I was. Okay, <laughs> check, that's okay, right. 